ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the MSC Grandiosa. We are very pleased that you are our guests today at the unique christening of our newest ship. Please take your seats. The show will start in a few moments. Willkommen an Bord der MSC Grandiosa. Wir freuen uns sehr, dass wir heute unsere Gäste bei der einzigartigen Taufe unseres neuesten Schiffes sind. Bitte nehmen Sie Platz. Die Show beginnt in wenigen Augenblicken. was available and what day we would take that car. In the 80s, the world started to, to progress very quickly. And as a result of that, the volume of cargo started to grow dramatically. Same story happened into, into the cruise division. Cruises started uh, with the purchase of the Kita car. You need to do the right thing in the right moment. And we happen to enter in this field at the right time and to have the right vision to reach in a very brief time with a double digital year on year. So we are starting to have the right dimension to be in this business and to offer our client a real good product. Shipping never stops. You gotta have fashion. You gotta have a drive. Every day we make investments. Every day people can see that we are part of the company. We have a very strong core values. We have passion in whatever we do. Passion is teamwork. Passion is also energy, is enthusiasm, and is a professionality. The cruise is the perfect example of what MSC and the MSC spirit and the MSC people can achieve. Yeah. Yes, it's the human power. This is what the uh, MC has been all about, uh, organic growth uh, within, uh, with its own people. The people in our company are in the heart of the company. One of us contributes to the result of the company. The Apontes have been in the shipping for the past 20 years. The beauty of our company is that it is a very diversified group. The goal of, of this company is to be sustainable in the future and to exist in the many generations to come. And when you see all the family working, you want to follow them and work with them. It's a company that is full of people that they love working for this company. When I remember the way it was and look at the way it is today, there can't be anything bigger than that. So it's why I'm here after after almost 30 years. 
We are a family company with a family spirit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf uh, of the Aponte family and MSC Cruises, we welcome uh, you to the beautiful city of Hamburg and uh, to the christening ceremony of MSC Grandiosa. In order to stage such a big event to perfection, it takes a true TV personality. Meine Damen und Herren, Signore e Signori, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all together Michelle Huzikeo. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, Fabio, for this nice introduction. You are the master of ceremony of all the MSC cruise ships, so thank you. I will take over only one hour and then it's all yours. You forever. Fantastic. You are thank fantastic. You very much. Michelle Unziger, welcome. Fabio, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the warm welcome to the MSC Cruises family 
I'm very happy to be here for the second time and I feel a little bit a part of this great family. It is indeed a family company with a family feeling and we feel that this. So thank you Mr. Aponte, thank you to all for having me here tonight. So what is going on tonight? First of all, I have to say Grandiosa is really the perfect name for this ship. It is amazing. Yesterday I came on the ship and I had no words. And MSC really never fails to amaze me. It is incredible. And then uh, this christening tonight, it will be so special because it's the first one and the first time that we have a christening with four stages all in the same time. Three on board and one uh, at, at, at the harbor down and it's a specially erected stage at, for the MSC village. And what do we have to expect? A great show, of course, with a lot of emotions, information, and nice speeches, and with grand shows. What else can we expect from a ship who has its own Cirque du Soleil on board? So, and wir sind in Hamburg und ich möchte natürlich auch einmal auf Deutsch begrüßen. Hallo, herzlich willkommen. Ich freue mich sehr, hier zu sein. Das ist eine ganz spezielle Taufe heute Abend. Wir, haben, wir feiern diese Taufe auf gleich vier Bühnen gleichzeitig. Und das ist etwas sehr Spezielles. Drei sind on board und eine ist draußen. Und wir werden uns wir werden gleich schalten zu der dritten draußen. Also, es, wir erwarten natürlich eine ganz große Show. Und ich sehe schon, das ist ein Family Business. Wir haben auch kleine Kinder hier. Hallöchen! <lacht> Süß, das ist schön. Das, ist, das gehört zu MSC Cruises, oder? La Grandiosa. A big applause for our little baby. This is the family business. So, let's go into the show and let's start to see one of our stages. And it's, I think, the coldest stage of all because it's outside. And we have there Anna Marie and Wayne Carpendale. And I wanted to say, hello, Anna Marie. How is it going on there? What's going on? Anna Marie and Wayne, are you there? Uh, main, mainland is hot, is it? Hello to everybody on the MSC Grandiosa. Hamburg is excited. Yeah. Hallo, moin moin, liebe Seefahrer. Was soll ich sagen? Wir sind hier seit äh, ca. 16 Uhr aktiv am Vorglühen, haben tolle Musik, ein tolles Programm, einen sagenhaften Blick auf den Hafen und natürlich auf die Grandiosa, die hier gerade vorbeigefahren ist. Äh, hier gibt es lecker Essen und ausreichend Getränke. Was will man mehr? Ja, ich weiß noch was. Mhm. Man könnte zum Beispiel eine Reise gewinnen. Oh. Und äh, zwar da vorne ganz genau. Wir haben da nämlich ein äh, Modell des Buchs der MSC Grandiosa aufgebaut, quasi fast original getreu, das ist über 6 Meter hoch und äh, da passt. Und da können Sie das, worum es heute Abend ja geht, nämlich das Schiffstaufen einfach mal üben. Frei nach dem Motto, auch Champagnerflaschenscherben bringen Glück. Das wird ja später auf dem Schiff niemand anders als Sophia Loren höchstpersönlich vornehmen. Das werden wir natürlich dann auch alles sehen können. Und Sie können beim Bottle Smash, so wie es im Fachsagon heißt, Nämlich was gewinnen, und zwar eine Reise auf der Grandiosa. Echt? Uh, ja. Dann können wir zu den allen an Bord? Ja, alle. Also, okay. Alle, die gewinnen. Hier ist auch schön, man kann sich hervorragend über, über, informieren über die Grandiosa und natürlich über das gesamte Programm der MSC Kreuzfahrten. Und deswegen, wenn ich hier in die Gesichter schaue, ich sehe da schon so richtig Luxus Kreuzfahrt Fernseh, oder? Ja, trotzdem, wir wissen uns zu trösten, wir haben einen tollen Blick, habe ich schon gesagt, wir haben ein tolles Programm und wir verfolgen natürlich ganz genau, was bei euch an Bord alles so passiert. Ja, und dabei haben wir eben schon unser blaues Wunder erlebt, sozusagen. Oh ja, als ihr vorhin hier in die Norderelbe eingebogen seid, da gingen die ersten blauen Lichter an und es werden immer mehr, das äh, kann ich versprechen, das sieht man sonst eigentlich nur bei den hamburg Cruise Days und das äh, ist, wie ich mir habe sagen lassen, eins der größten Kreuzfahrtfestivals der Welt. So ein kleiner Fun Fact von einem äh, nicht -Hansiaden. Ja, aber auch für die Einheimischen ist das hier was ganz Besonderes. Quasi eine Special Edition, denn das Lichtermeer und diese Lichtershow sozusagen, die wurde extra hierfür kreiert, für die Taufe der MSC Grandiosa. Das heißt, es wird was ganz Besonderes, quasi tausend und eine Nacht, ja, der ganze Hafen im blauen Licht sozusagen. Sagen und äh, ich will euch ja nicht neidisch machen an Bord, liebe Michelle, ja, aber wir.
wir hier im MSC Village, wir haben quasi die beste Position von allen, denn wir können den kompletten Hafen überblicken, ja, den strahlend blauen Hafen und wir haben immer einen wunderschönen Blick auf euch, die strahlende Grandiose. Ich kann mir noch eine einzige beeindruckendere Perspektive vorstellen. Da konnten wir dann keine Bühne aufbauen, nämlich ganz oben am Himmel, aber wir haben einen Helikopter hochgeschickt und der zeigt uns gerade wahnsinnig schöne Bilder von der MSC Grandiosa. Die blaue Nacht aus der Adlerperspektive. What a stunning view! I'm talking about stunning. Back to you, Michelle. Mm. Thank you, Wayne, and thank you, Anna Marie. Really nice, this couple. They are sweet and they are really big professionals, so I'm very happy. And it was impressive, impressive. And if I think about the word impressive, I don't know why I think about Gary Gladding. And it's our second stage, and he is in the carousel lounge. So we'll uh, switch over to Gary Gladding. Are you there, Gary? I am. <laughs> Yes, uh, so Gary. Yeah, big applause to Gary Gladding. Listen, Gary. Thank you. Uh, you are looking as beautiful as ever. Oh, thank I'm talking. you, Gary. Thank you. I heard you have six shows a week. Is this really Absolutely. possible? Absolutely. It is, and six nights per week, I guess we'll have the opportunity here on board. And Those are two brand new wonderful shows to see. In 2013, our executive chairman, Pierre Francesco Vago, had the vision to take our onboard entertainment program to a whole new level. And I can honestly say our collaboration with Cirque du Soleil has certainly met that bill. Show 2013 had our executive chairman, Pierre Francesco Vago, the vision gehabt, our onboard program auf die nächste Stufe zu heben. Und ich kann ganz ehrlich sagen, die Kooperation mit dem Cirque du Soleil ist ihm wirklich gelungen. Aber dazu später mehr. Ja, danke Gary, danke. Wir kommen bald zu dir zurück. Und jetzt, we go over to our fourth, no, third stage. And it is Jochen. It's called La Grandiosa, Grandiosa, the stage. And Jochen is another friend of ours. This is a family business with a lot of friends. So let's switch over to Jochen. Wie geht's dir? I think he has the best, best job of all. Yes. Michelle, mir geht's super. I'm very happy, Michelle, that I'm hosting with you tonight. And now we're even friends. I'm so excited. Yes. I'm here in the Galeria Grandiosa. And this is the most important part of the ship, tonight at least, because our godmother, Sophia Loren, will come here at about 7.30 and she will cut the ribbon which will then set a process which at the end the bottle of champagne will smash at the bow of the ship. So this is going to be really exciting. Ich bin also hier in der Galeria Grandiosa. Sie sind alle hier genau richtig, denn um 7.30 Uhr wird unsere Taufpartin Sophia Loreen hier dieses Band zerschneiden. Dann geht ein ausgetutelter Mechanismus los und am Ende wird dann die Champagnerflasche am Schiff zerschellen. Ich bin sehr froh, Michelle, dass wir beide heute Abend hier durch den Abend führen dürfen. Das mit macht ja, Jochen. Und you know, Sophia Loren und uh, Mr. Raponte have been friends forever and she has been the godmother for all MSC cruise ships. You know that. He's not there anymore. He's already gone because he has to show us a lot of things of our ship and so we're going to see him uh, later. So, by the way, what I wanted to say, I said before, it's a family business and Anna Marie and Wayne, they brought their little son, a really sweet Matt. And if I think about family, it was really important to me as well, I think, That's the key word for our next guest. Indeed, MSC Cruises is the company of a family whose roots go back to the 17th century. And it's based on strong values, women and men working together for something new, meaningful, important, and also with a great vision on uh, the future. As Mr. Laponte said in the video, he started as a normal seaman. And all of this and much more makes MSC Cruises uh, the world's leader in the shipping sector. And, and a unique company with a vision, a great vision of the future. So, to tell us more about that and about MSC Cruises' exciting plans for the future, it's a great pleasure to call on stage the Executive Chairman of MSC Cruises, Pier Francesco Vago. <laughs> Well, good evening, dear 
Senator, State Secretary Siveke, members of the German Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, good evening, Hamburg! I hope uh, you're keeping warm at the MSC village uh, near the Landesbrücken. And thank you for coming out to celebrate with us the christening of MSC Grandiosa. Can I hear them? I they hear you. They uh, hear okay. you, but... <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, for being with us tonight to celebrate uh, this important milestone. A special thanks goes uh, tonight to Michael Batz, and the man and the artist behind the magnificent Blue Port Nights Light Show. Thank you. I think he's on the top of the roof, yeah? but he's actually coordinating and lighting uh, all the blue lights of Hamburg yes. as the ship sails by, so it's amazing. It's amazing, yeah. Today we are welcoming one of the world, more world's most environmentally performing vessels at sea. A further proof of MSC Cruise's long-standing commitments to the environment, to the oceans, and especially to the poor communities that we touch, just like Hamburg. MSC Grandiosa comes equipped with the latest cutting-edge environmental solutions. This includes emission abatement technologies like closed-loop hybrid exhaust gas cleaning and a specially selective catalytic reduction system and sure to ship power connection like on all our new ship already since 2017, allowing zero emission while in port. MSC Grandios also features one of the most advanced waste water treatment and waste management system and much more. As the ships effectively represents one more significant step forward in our journey towards a zero impact future. <laughs> Last week we also started building our first of five LNG power ships. LNG will take us another step forward, allowing additional substantial improvement in our environmental performance, reducing emission even more particular matter as well as CO2 by another 20%. MSC also embarked on the next phase of development of a breakthrough fuel cell technology specifically designed for cruising, a world first. We are of course also delivering this technology across our entire fleet. This is the kind of long-term commitment that only a family-owned company can make. Let me announce here this evening that we will be the first major cruise line to become 100% or Cambord neutral as from January 2020. So I'm <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, MSC started here in Hamburg. We heard it before. Mr. Aponte, our group founder, bought his first ship here, the Korbach. This is why the ties with this city are so strong. We share a deep belief in shipping tradition, and we have many friends and partners here today with us. Yesterday, we also introduced to many of you the outside world, the MSC Foundation. Last night, at the Elbe Philharmonie, the Foundation held a benefit concert for the Helbet Habitat Foundation, and I'm happy to say we raised in excess of 250,000 euro that will go to the other foundation. This, this is a, a very important project to develop a tidal creek in the dike foreland near the Kirchwerder with the aim of creating new lifeline for endangered species. But later we will hear more about this from Dr. Clock. MSC is today, MSC Cruise is today the first international cruise line in Germany. We are committed to provide more growth to this market for years to come, and we will ensure that this goes hand in hand with our commitment to zero impact operation. After all, cruising is one of the more environmental friendly vacations, and I'm saying it because there are other friends here from the cruise industries. Before I finish, I want to thank the local authorities for their support of MSC Cruises 
as well as the rest of the industry. Thanks for the support. By 2022, the latest time order will now be able to provide short to ship power supply. And that is also great news. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hamburg, it's a honor that only nine years after the christening of MSC Magnifica, you came out so numerous to attend the celebration for MSC Grandiosa. Thank you for your trust and for your partnership and for your friendship. Thank you so much. here on board and for me it's a great thing. I mean you have it here and exclusively for you. It's a, an exclusive show so really really nice. So let's go over to another topic. Hamburg is the gate to the world and rightly so. Uh, Hamburg Sport is destination for ships from all over the world. Two, 220 cruise ships came to Hamburg in 2018 and these are the reasons why MSC has chosen Hamburg uh, as the christening place tonight uh, for the Grandiosa. And that's why I want to welcome here on stage somebody who really knows well Hamburg and he's a real hamburger. And that's uh, the Dr. Starson, State Secretary. Dr. Starson Seveke, please uh, welcome. Please, a big applause for you. Dear Mr. Ponte, dear Mr. Vago, dear good mother Sophia Lovine, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to address a few words to you here today on behalf of the Senate of the Free and Hanseatic City of Hamburg on the occasion of the ship christening MSC Grandiosa. Your announcement of the ship christening one and a half years ago, Mr. Vago, has very good news for the cruise city of Hamburg. Our ship your ship, the ship of everybody, the Magnifica, was christened here 2010 and now nine years later, as we heard before, it's celebration time again. The ship christening is always a highlight for ship owner and also for the lucky city where it takes place. As you can imagine, I think you made, Mr. Barbell, a great choice. Hamburg is the event city that comes to cruise. Um, and we're happy to welcome the Grandiosa and all of you here, ladies and gentlemen, in Hamburg. Hamburg is currently at the top of Germany's cruise port ranks and number two in Northern Europe. Well, we are most eventful cruise destination and will become the number one sustainable cruise hub in Northern Europe. Hamburg's economy is a whole of benefiting from impressive development of the cruise industry. We are convinced that we are in Hamburg are uh, the ideal position to face the future with, your, with our three well-managed terminals. In addition to creating the necessary terminal infrastructure, we also want to minimize the environmental impact of the ships during their layovers at the port here in Hamburg. The Senate three uh, weeks ago, decided that, as we know, in three years, every cruise terminal will be equipped with shore power facilities and we plan to have the same shore power facilities for container ships within the last next five to ten years. Mr. Vago, thank you very much for your confidence in Hamburg. I hope we are going to welcome many more embassy ships here. We are proud to welcome you and your family here in Hamburg. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sebek. And now I know what you mean that Hamburg is at the gate to the uh, world. And I would like to go to Anna Marie and Wayne. And they, I think they have the best seat uh, to see the Elk Philharmonie from there, where they are. Uh, Anna Maria Wayne, is that so? Anna Maria Wayne, is that so? <laughs> Michelle, what can I say? It's a magical atmosphere wow. over here. Wow. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Uh, it's a little bit like a monumental movie in Cinemascope, Technicolor 3D. It's, it's, it's like Hollywood. But I have to say, seeing it in real is, is maybe a little bit more amazing than seeing it on the screens on, on board. Ja, die, äh, die Grandiosa ist gerade hinter der Elfi verschwunden. Wir freuen uns allerdings sehr auf ein Wiedersehen zum Grand Finale. Und ja, da kommt sie schon zurück. Ne? Jetzt sehe ich es auch gerade aus meiner Perspektive hier. Und äh, ja, wir freuen uns sehr, denn gleich gibt es das Grand Finale. Das Ganze fühlt sich an wie die schönste Hafenrundfahrt ever. Und es wäre auch noch die romantischste, wenn ich wüsste, wo meine Frau ist. Schatz? Ja, Schatz, ist hier unten. Ich habe mich mal ein bisschen unter die Leute gemischt, denn auch andere Väter haben schöne Söhne, lieber Schatz, gell? Ich habe hier oh. nämlich den Timo getroffen, der hat aber seine Freundin mitgebracht, die Sabrina. Und äh, wir wollten mal fragen, wie findet ihr denn die Party so far? Also bis jetzt ganz cool, eigentlich viele Leute hier. Wo seid ihr her? Seid ihr extra hergekommen? Aus Breisach bei Freiburg. Oh, wow. Ihr kriegt den Orden für die am weitesten herkreist. Ihr kommt natürlich extra zur Taufe her, oder? Ja. Schon, schon, schon immer eine Leidenschaft dafür gehabt? Ja. Ja. <lacht> Warte schon mal auf eine Kreuzfahrt. Mit wem würdet ihr denn auf Kreuzfahrt gehen? Mit Mutti, mit Schatzi, mit Kumpel? Überleg dir, was du sagst. Ui, ja, das ist auf jeden Fall sehr gut. Wir haben ja auch einen 16 Monate alten Sohn und, oder 18 ist er jetzt schon, ui, ui, ui. <lacht> habe ich mich kurz berechnet. Und äh, das ist natürlich mega Family, äh, kann man immer sehr, sehr gut auf einer Kreuzfahrt, da bietet sich das perfekt an, ja. Und Sie hier alle, Sie können sich wunderbar verewigen quasi on board, indem Sie Fotos machen, was Sie ja alle schon fleißig machen, ja. Und die posten mit dem Hashtag MSC Grandiosa oder Live from MSC. Und dann, wenn Sie etwas Glück haben, erscheinen Sie vielleicht auf der MSC Social Wall, auf den vielen Bildschirmen hier auf der Grandiosa und bei uns hier im MSC Village. Also eine tolle Möglichkeit, sich ein bisschen zu verewigen sozusagen. Apropos... Ich würde sagen, wir gehen zurück an Bord zu der einzigen und einzigartigen Meerjungfrau der Schweiz. Oh, oh, danke schön. Danke Annemarie, danke Wayne. Das sieht aber wirklich fantastisch aus und äh, der Hafen ist ja total blau schon. Es wird immer schöner. Thank you very much. And if I think about reporter outside, I think about our reporter in the ship, our rasende reporter. Uh, Jochen, where are you right now? Because you're everywhere, actually. I love it when you call me a rasender reporter, my kleines Schoko Schnäuzchen Michel. I'm sure you're a little bit upset right now because I am here at the Jean Philippe Chocolate et Café and you love chocolate so much. Yes. And it's actually quite amazing because as you can see here, there's like a whole chocolate station where the chocolates are made. Here over here, look how beautiful okay, this looks. Okay, it's and not, we switch stage, okay? And it also... <laughs> Das ist amazing. Danke so much, aber Michelle, wie wäre es denn, wenn ich dir ein kleines Herzchen mitbringe? Sind wir dann wieder Freunde? Das ist wirklich, ja, okay. Also ich, dann warte äh, auf mich später und, und äh, halte dieses Herzchen für mich da, okay? Das mache ich. Also, Chef Mori just told me that he's not only responsible for the beautiful chocolates, he's also responsible for the gourmet ice parlor and the crêperie. And guess where I'm going right now? Bye. Over to you, Gary. <lacht> One of the very first showings of a brand new show here from Cirque du Soleil at Sea. It's called Cosmos. So I wish you an exciting, wonderful, fantastic, over the top show experience. Und nun, meine Damen und Herren, hier in der Causa Lounge haben Sie die Möglichkeit, eine wunderbare neue Show von Cirque du Soleil at Sea zu genießen. Ich wünsche Ihnen ein wunderbares, schönes, Überraschendes, fantastisches Vergnügen. It's just a very short but exciting moment here in the council around something that our guests on MSC Grandiosa are going to be able to enjoy time and time again. So something not to be missed. And now you are going to have the opportunity of being able to see a short film that's about another wonderful project that we have here at MSC. It's called MSC Foundation. Und nun, meine Damen und Herren, Sie haben die Möglichkeit, einen kurzen Film zu genießen zu unserem neuen Projekt MSC Foundation.
because I was traveling a lot, you know, not only moderating the most important news show in Germany, but also traveling mainly to war areas, to areas where we had very difficult crises. And then all the time I met UNICEF projects. And then I called UNICEF when I was back in Germany and I said, 
I would be delighted to work with you. Okay. And that was nearly 30 years ago. And since then, and I think more than 25 years, I have the great honor and pleasure to be the German ambassador for UNICEF, for this wonderful, really, organization to help children all over the world. I'm very proud of this and what we could achieve in all that time. Yes, I mean, you're, yes. Yeah, so, really, thanks for you, thanks for you. No, we are nothing without our donors, and we yes, are that's all true. our donors. That's true. I mean, you were traveling around in all uh, this uh, developing countries and crisis areas. But what impresses you most about this uh, this work that you do with UNICEF? This is very hard to say, you know, I know because I know. you cannot say this kid is in a let's say worse situation than another kid. It can be a kid that will be destroyed by the parents, even here in Germany, by, you know, by physically destroyed, whatever, and uh, psychologically destroyed. Yeah. And we can meet kids in Africa, in awful situations, in South America, in Asia, trafficking of kids, abusing kids. We, we see kids as kid soldiers. I think when I travel, normally I don't have the honor to travel in such a luxury, but I know every slum of the world. You can ask me about these. <laughs> But you know what is impressing is that UNICEF is not an organization um, that is working from top to, to the bottom, but it's working with thousands of all of you. We have thousands of helpers here in Germany, in Switzerland, all over the world, and this is these are voluntary helpers, you know. So and we work with thousands of small organizations, like for example, Mr. And Mrs. Aponte, by I was much more impressed when you asked what was it in Haiti, where you also supported the project here. Yes, the and uh, there was an Italian priest that we supported in the slums, and he he was taking out kids of an awful situation. They, you know, there's a tradition in Haiti where you sell kids for three or four years to work in other households. These kids sleep under the bed of the new masters, and they have to work 10 to 12 hours a day. Can you imagine? For three to four years. And these kids, this priest who impressed me so much, he was taking out of these family, of, yeah, families, of these masters, and giving them a home, giving them a future, giving them a job. And then I met a lot of them who are now 15, 16, having jobs, doing, you know, really a good life there. And I mean, these people, we love to support their work in all regions of the world. And now we have a beautiful new project which we are very grateful to the Aponte family, Mr. Vargo, to all of you ladies and gentlemen who support this together with MSC. Because, I mean, in the last, we have to mention one figure. It's now that MSC is supporting UNICEF for 10 years. 10 years. 10 years, and we collected, and you donated 10 million already to the projects of UNICEF. So, thank you very much for that. Yes, but it's a sort of give it back, right? right? For us, we have a fantastic job, a fantastic life, and it's it's so nice to do something like this and really uh, put up. Also, from this yeah, dance. Vielen Dank. That's why we are really grateful to the family appointed Mr. Vargo, to all of you, and to the foundation now, the beautiful people that work for the MSC Foundation. I had the honor to meet all of them today. And I mean, they are so engaged, and I think we will do a lot of very, very sustainable projects, you know. They are, MSC is very comparable to UNICEF because both are very sustainable. Beide sind sehr nachhaltig. Beide machen etwas über Jahre. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Because we don't go away from a country when the cameras leave. UNICEF stays in 148 countries of the world even if <coughs> nobody is looking at these countries. And that is the most important thing we can do. Is a sustainable with the help and the support as we try to help others. Thank you so much. Sabine Christian, I have noch was to erzählen. Ja, was ist das? Was war das da? Because, yeah. Yeah, what is this? What do you think? What is it? No, tell me, tell me. I have the news project of the MSC Foundation. Okay, and I've got which we are just launching today because. It is a wonderful project. You know what we do? We do a combination of all that you saw, ladies and gentlemen, on this very, very nice film about the foundation work. Because we combine a lot of things. These are bricks. These are bricks where we will build hundreds of schools 
in the Côte d'Ivoire and the Elfenbein Küste. These are bricks made out of plastic. They are plastic made out of plastic. And you can see it's very solid, isn't it? It doesn't seem It's super plastic. solid. Yeah? So it's not a, like a home that blows away, you know, with the yes, first yeah. stone. But it's a very solid brick. And what we do is to combine, to collect the plastic that we find everywhere, that we can find in Asia everywhere, that we find on all our coasts nowadays, and especially on the African coast. Now suddenly, plastic waste has a value because people, especially women and kids, will collect this, bring it, and we build schools out of we it. We have to do that Hundreds of schools. It's not an idea of an engineer from, I don't know, you know, from, from Germany or America or whatever. This is an idea which comes out from people in Colombia. <coughs> and this is so nice because we, we said this is the ideal project to be a very sustainable project as well. Because this combines two of the biggest problems we have, the plastic waste. The waste something has a value now, which never had a value, and we can do a more bigger value with them to give kids education, a home for them, and this is a very, very good project, I think, which will be exported in a lot of countries in the world. Is this the first time you were talking about this yes. here? Yes. Wow. It's the first it's time really in you. That's super. No, I'm doing it. Yes. No, no, no. This is it's a very, very good news. Thank you so much. We thank MSC for that, to help us to build all the hundreds of schools on the Côte d'Ivoire and I think everywhere else. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. curious about the blue lights over there at the harbor. Annemarie, wie sieht das aus da? Ach, es sieht immer schöner aus. Guck mal. Blue port. Yeah. We have an absolute amazing view. The Embassy Gandiosa is right in front of us. Uh, Breathtaking scenery. I'm, I'm absolutely speechless. Ja, und ja. Äh, wir können jetzt noch mal ganz kurz erklären. Ich meine, die MSC Grandiosa, die steht hier einfach so vor unserer Nase, ja, aber das ist gar nicht so einfach. Da hat, hat der Kapitän Massa und, äh, dass so ein Schiff einfach mal so ein bisschen auf der Stelle steht. Und dabei helfen diese zwei großen Schlepper sozusagen, ja, die halten quasi das Schiff in Position, damit wir es quasi direkt vor unserer Nase haben bei der großen. Äh, feier gleich, wenn wir äh, die Taufe machen werden und Sophia Loren quasi den Bottle Smash vollzieht. Ja, und das Ganze beobachten hier von Land aus 5000 äh, Menschen. 5000 people are watching here. Und ich habe mir sagen lassen, an, an Bord der MSC Grandiosa passen 6000 Gäste. Das äh, heißt, ihr wisst, liebe Grandiosa, ihr wisst, wer gleich zu euch rüberkommt. Ne? Genau. Also, zurück von der Elfi zu unserer Schweizer Elfe. Oh, das war aber jetzt wieder charmant von dir. Danke, Wayne. Macht ihr eigentlich auch Musik da drüben? Ja, ich glaube schon, ich habe eine Band gesehen. Ne? Okay, sie sind schon weg. Also, Harbour Edge of a completely different kind mm -hmm. are the concern of the Elbe Habitat Foundation, for whom the concert in the Elf was organized yesterday. And, but for this topic, I'd like to hand the microphone over to someone who knows Hamburg better. Christian Hein, Managing Director of MS Germany and Mrs. Elizabeth Locke. <coughs> Mr. Vago, you brought the ship to Hamburg, and I know you did it for two reasons. Number one, it's my hometown. It is fantastic. I'm so proud. So thank, thank you very much for that. And secondly, we have such a deep relationship, as we heard before, to Hamburg. Um, Hamburg is called the gate to the world, 
and we bring the world to Hamburg. We are the international cruising line and we bring 180 nations to the city. So that's why we really fit well together. Yeah. And to do that, we need the River Elbe. So they teach in schools in Hamburg without the River Elbe, Hamburg would not, would not exist. It's the heartbeat of the city. And uh, Elbe is the keyword and as we know, uh, we want to go uh, give something back to the people of Hamburg. And we do, like Mr. Baru said, 250,000 euro to renature the, the Elbe in a special product. It's called the Home Elbe, and we have someone here who knows it very well. A strong woman who does that, so please welcome uh, Dr. Elisabeth Klocke, Geschäftsführerin. So we have the, the one who knows best. This is a really exciting project. Why don't you yes. a bit, uh, explain a little bit, erklären Sie uns ein bisschen was über das Projekt, weil das ist wirklich wichtig. Ja, das mache ich gerne. Wie Herr Vargas eben schon gesagt hat, es geht um eine ganz besondere Pflanze an dieser Elbe. Und zwar gibt es diese Pflanze hier, also weltweit, nur hier in Hamburg und im Hamburger Umland. Und sie ist perfekt an die Elbe angepasst, so wie sie mal war. Deswegen nennen wir sie auch in der Stiftung Lebensraum Elbe die Tierelbe-Expertin. Die Pflanze heißt Schillings Wasserfenchel und sie ist, weil die Elbe so verändert wurde vom Menschen, inzwischen vom Aussterben bedroht. Wir haben die Lebensräume verloren und es gibt noch, in guten Jahren haben wir noch 5000 Exemplare weltweit, in schlechten Jahren haben wir noch 1000. Das ist das, also das sind die Pflanzen, an der diese gesamte Pflanze überhaupt hängt. Also wir reden über Artensterben an der Stelle und wir sind in Hamburg in einer ganz besonderen Verantwortung für diese Pflanze. So, was machen wir also? Wir stellen einen neuen Priel her, wo diese Pflanze wieder leben kann. Und das ist das Ziel. Nächstes Jahr wollen wir anfangen und die Erlöse aus dem Konzert werden wir direkt für diesen Priel verwenden. Wie sieht diese Pflanze aus? Ähm, die Pflanze ist tatsächlich so, also im Moment sieht sie so aus, also wir sind ja im Winter, ja. die Peter sind hier gar nicht viel anders. Okay. Aber nächsten Sommer, also wenn sie dann ein Jahr alt ist oder zwei Jahre alt ist, dann ist sie so groß wie ich und sie hat zauberhafte weiße Blütendollen. Ach, schön. Ja, genau, sie ist, zweijähr sie ist zweijährig, dann stirbt sie, dann gibt sie die ganzen Samen in die Elbe, die werden verteilt mit der Elbe, dann verteilt sie sich hier an der ganzen Elbe und dann, wenn sie einen guten Lebensraum findet, dann wächst sie da auch wieder. Das ist wirklich ein ganz wichtiges Projekt. Wir bauen mal eben ein Priel, das klingt gesagt nicht ganz so einfach. Ja, was, ist das, was ist das Besondere an dem Projekt? Das Besondere ist, das Erste ist, es gibt kaum äh, Räume, wo man es überhaupt noch bauen kann. Wir haben fast keine Möglichkeit mehr, überhaupt noch solche Priele zu bauen. So ein Priel ist so ein Wasserarm, der sich so durch das Vorland, das Deichvorland schlängt, der ist mit der Elbe verbunden und der steht unter dem Gezeiteneinfluss. Das heißt, bei Flut ist er voll, bei Elbe ist er leer und diese, diese Pflanze, die wächst bei Flut im Wasser und bei Elbe ist sie dann halt sozusagen außerhalb des Wassers. Also bei Flut ist es so, dass gerade nochmal die Blüten rausgucken. Ähm, und bei Ebbe ist es so, dass man auch nicht schon die Blätter sehen kann. So kann man sich das vorstellen. Ein ja. Tidefluss sozusagen. Es ist ein, ja, es ist ein, eine, eine Pflanze, die nur an einem Tidefluss lebt. Und zwar wirklich nur an der Elbe. Die Elbe ist ganz speziell. Und deswegen wächst diese Pflanze auch wirklich nur hier. Es ist also eigentlich unfassbar, ne? aber es ist so. Also an der Weser würde die nicht wachsen, um das ganz klar zu sagen. Nur hier. Das ist der Unterschied zu Bremen. Ja, ja, der Unterschied zu Bremen. Ja. Vielen, vielen Dank. Vielen Dank für dieses Projekt. Ich will eine Frage noch. Ähm, ja. Persönliche Frage. Absolut. Ja. Was bedeutet das für Sie selbst? Ich meine, das ist, wie gesagt, das ist ein Riesenprojekt. Das, wir erzählen das ja mal eben so schnell. Das ist wichtig und groß. Was heißt das für Sie persönlich? Also, für mich ist, also das ist eines von vielen Projekten der Stiftung. Die Stiftung ist eigentlich das große Projekt. In der Stiftung arbeiten, und das ist das Besondere an der Stiftung, in der Stiftung arbeiten Umwelt und Wirtschaft zusammen und es ist auch so, dass mit dem Geld der Wirtschaft Umwelt, also Naturschutz bezahlt wird. Das ist das Besondere an der Stiftung. Für mich bedeutet es ganz persönlich, das ist die großartigste Aufgabe, die ich mir vorstellen kann, weil es haben wir schon selber gesagt, die Bedeutung Hamburgs hängt von der Elbe ab und auch die Zukunft Hamburgs wird von der Elbe abhängen. Und deswegen finde ich das für mich persönlich großartig und für mich auch sehr motivierend, dass ich das machen kann. Und vielleicht noch eine Sache jetzt zu dieser Kooperation mit MSC. Es ist das erste Mal, dass wir mit einem Wirtschaftsunternehmen kooperieren. Und es war für mich tatsächlich etwas völlig Neues, das zu tun. Und ähm, als ich äh, die vielen Mitarbeiter und Geschäftsführer von MSC, Kursus von verschiedenen, äh, sage ich mal, Unternehmen auch hier kennengelernt habe, muss ich feststellen, ähm, 
das Engagement von MSC ist ähm, aus meiner Sicht outstanding. Ich kann es nicht anders sagen. Es ist wirklich etwas ganz Besonderes. Ich bin so ja, Ich bin hier in Hamburg und auch in Genf. Ich bin Löcher in den Bauch gefragt worden. Wieso ist alles so schlechtes an der Elbe? Es ist jetzt so, dass Sie mit Ihrer MSC Foundation die ganzen Probleme, die wir haben, absolut ehrlich kommunizieren. Das macht kaum jemand. Sie tun das. Und es ist so, dass Sie so engagiert rangehen, auch mir selber so viel Motivation wieder zurückgeben, dass ich wirklich wahnsinnig gerne mit Ihnen zusammenarbeite. Wirklich vielen, vielen, vielen Dank. A strong woman. A strong part of the West Bahamas and was used many years as a junkyard for industrial reasons. MSC saved this poor island and brought it back to life with fishes, corals and beautiful beaches. Take a look. suffering um, pretty severely. Let's try and do something about it. There's a lot of uh, transplants, a lot of fish, lobster. Carl is not a healthy. The general environment is so uh, good work. There's a chance that we're going to have a healthy economy again. It's pretty awesome. Something that the world that can really look at us and set an example. We can make a difference with these areas. The topic of conversation was conch. Another one was seagrass and how important these items are for the environment, for the Bahamas. It's really needing our help. We are a family company that live uh, for the ocean. Uh, we live uh, by the ocean. That's what feeds us every day. Let's make this marine reserve something unique and good together. I'm excited for the transformation. And I can't wait to see what it's going to be in the future. And really bring the marine life back to a place that was industrialized with the Pepperagonite mining. The more degrees we take, the more we are cleaning in the sea. A little color of the world. This is what we can expect. There's five and a half thousand guests in the world at the time of their life. This is something that has never been done before. Zoe, may I speak with you? Of course. 
course, Michelle. Hi. Okay, Zoe, as a master of ceremony, I'll demand that you take a day off today, okay? I'll take over for you. Are you sure, Michelle? Yes, of course, you deserve it. Go to have a nice massage to the circuit boards, take a stroll in the e-clouds, or meet with your virtual assistant friends. Do not worry, I'm the master of ceremony. I'll take care of all, okay? Thank you, Michelle. Okay, Zoe, restaurant for dinner. Any advice? Of course, we've got 12 restaurants, including the Kaitu Tepanyaki and Sushi Bar, where our chef entertained with spectacular flips and tricks while preparing authentic mouth-watering Asian meals. Should I switch on your cabin TV so you can book? Yes, please. Done. Okay, Zoe. Cirque du Soleil at sea. Go ahead. What time does the show start? Okay, looks like the first one has already started. And the second one starts at 10. Okay, Zoe. Where can I see the fine art experience? Is there one? Wait a minute. Of course there is, and it's stunning. We've got 26 original Dega etchings in Atelier Bistro on deck 6. Go for it. Okay, so how long is the ship? Oh, ship. Um, hold on, I'm going to measure it, okay? In half centimeter is one meter, so it means one meter is two meters, so... Okay, Zoe. There's another call, hold on a sec, sir. How does MSC Grandiosa minimize its impact on the environment? This one I know, I swear. MSC Grandiosa is equipped with the most advanced environmental technologies for cleaner emissions, the finest purification of wastewater and state-of-the-art waste management facilities. She uses less fuel and per passenger. I could go on and on about that, sir. Back to you, are you still there, sir? Yes. So, how long is MSC Grandiosa? Oh my god, I lost the count. Uh, four or six. I don't know. Sir, this ship looks very, very long. Okay, Zoe. Is it possible to have a massage? Sure. I'd like to have one too. <laughs> ah, thank you, Michelle. The day off was very relaxing. I took a wonderful massage to my circuit boards and... Michelle? What? Zoe! Hi! <laughs> How are you? I think it's better if I take over now. Why don't you go and have a lie down? Nice idea. Thank you, Zoe. By the way, yes. How long is the ship? 331 meters. I knew it. It was so long, so long this ship. Amazing, incredible. There's a lot to discover about the greatness at sea. Good that Zoe exists. I'm very happy. She is the expert. You can ask everything. But maybe we've got another expert. Jochen, because he is, I'm really a little worried. He is everywhere. He's drinking. <laughs> He's drinking, I knew it. Where are you? Well, Michelle, I am in the champagne bar. Did you know that there's 20 bars on board of the MSC Grandiosa Ana Maria? Poor, poor, poor. I want a big drink. Uh, hey, Jochen, how many champagne, uh, champagne did you drink? This is my first one, but that's why I acquired a big glass. <laughs> yes, we've got the christening in a few minutes, eh? I know, I know, I know. And Michelle, I told you, you know, I still have your chocolate. I'm going to take this as well for you. It's going to be a bit heavy, but I know you're a little bit upset if you don't get anything. So 20 bars on board, and the champagne bar, of course, is amazing. So many different champagnes, sparkling wines, Prosecco, but 
you also have amazing foods like lobster caviar and oysters. I just don't know how to open them. Maybe you do? Uh, no, it's really difficult. You, you can't do it with your teeth. <laughs> you can oh, ask sorry. for help. Yes, I think I will ask for help. Okay. And, uh, it's gonna get heavy, but I'm bringing this for you. Yes, yes, bring it and stop drinking, okay, Jochen, I need you. I know, I know, who doesn't need me? Mwah. Oh, bye bye, Jochen, see you later. Yeah, see you later. Okay, it seems to be better to leave you alone, and now we go to another tit bit. Uh, since we can't all find room in the carousel lounge, we've got a surprise here, yes. The Cirque du Soleil, a show on screen. Let's see, let's go to see to spy what's going on over there. Pleasure 
for me to welcome Gianni Onorato. das wir in zweieinhalb Jahren in Dienst gestellt haben. Acht weitere werden bis 2027 in unsere Flotte aufgenommen, was 25% des Kapazitätswachstums der gesamten Branche ausmacht. Ich bin davon überzeugt, dass wir Ihnen mit dem, was heute habe ich präsentiert wurde, zeigen könnten, wofür es sich steht. Wir sind eine schweizerisch-europäische Kreuzfahrtgesellschaft mit globaler Ausrichtung. Wir passen unser Produkt an die Bedürfnisse der meisten Kulturen und Nationalitäten an. Wir sind stolz darauf, die Nummer eins unter den Kreuzfahrtmarken in ganz Europa zu sein und die erste internationale Marke in Deutschland. Unsere deutschen Gäste genießen ein großartiges internationales Erlebnis an Bord unserer Schiffe. Authentische Küche aus aller Welt mit einem mediterranen Touch. Weltklasse und preisgekrönte internationale Küche, die wahre Gourmet-Erlebnisse schaffen. Moderne Schiffe, komfortable Kabinen und einen erstklassigen Service, der keine Küche offen lässt. Unsere Gäste treffen an Bord Menschen aus über 180 Nationen, während sie Tag und Nacht eine beeindruckende Vielfalt an Unterhaltung und Aktivitäten genießen und aufwendige Theaterproduktionen erleben können. Auf den Schiffen der Meraviglia Klasse, die hier auf der MSC Grandiosa, bieten wir ihnen einzigartige Circus Soleil Seashows. Als Familienunternehmen ist es unser Anspruch, Familien einen unterhalt, unterhaltsamen und entspannten Urlaub zu bieten, zu bieten. Die Kinder- und die Jugendprogramme bieten Kinder jeden Alters sowie jeder Nationalität und der Kunst neue kreative Ideen und unvergessliche Erlebnisse. Unsere wunderschönen Kinderclubs wurden in Zusammenarbeit mit Lego und Chico eingerichtet. Wir bieten 212 Reiserouten weltweit ein, um mehr als 200 Ziele zu erreichen. Deshalb ist eine Kreuzfahrt mit, mit MSC Cruises eine der besten Möglichkeiten, unsere Welt zu erleben und zu erkunden. Unser Ziel ist es, die Kreuzfahrtmarke wieder wahr zu werden. In Deutschland und auf der ganzen Welt. Die Deutschen lieben Kreuzfahrten und sie lieben Kreuzfahrten mit uns. Also, an alle unsere geschätzten Gäste und Vertriebspartner, die heute Abend bei uns sind, lasst uns diese Event dazu nutzen, um weiter zusammen zu wachsen. Nochmals, vielen Dank für Ihre langjährige Partnerschaft. Und äh, bitte freuen Sie sich jetzt auf eine fantastische MSC-Show. Vielen Dank. Thank you so much, Daniel uh, Morato. Thank you. We see each other in a few minutes because we're almost there. You don't have microphone. Ich weiß, drei Küsschen. Drei. Okay, später. Okay. <laughs> We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there to baptize this amazing ship, MSC Grandiosa. Can't, I can't wait. Yes, come on, come on. <laughs> so before I show you uh, a little piece of the entertainment team, I just want to say bye bye to our friends at Landungsbrücken, Anna Maria and uh, Wayne. Is the party going on over there? How are you? How is it with the glue vine? Nobody answers. I think they're partying. Is the party still going on here? Yes. Yay! Yes, we 
gentlemen, we are very excited and I must say I am a little bit jealous of Jochen because he'll be standing next to Sophia Lorraine in a few moments, but yes. hey, never mind, I married my own diva. <laughs> Charming as always, sweetheart. But nevertheless, vielleicht erklärst du einfach mal ein bisschen, was jetzt so passiert, mein Schatz. Ach, Denn ja. Wir sind ja ganz kurz davor, der Countdown beginnt. Genau, ich mach mal ein bisschen den Erklärbär. Erstmal kommt der Ribbon Cut, den übernimmt niemand geringeres als Sophia Lorraine, die Grandiosa des italienischen Weltklassik. Sie wird das rote Band durchschneiden, an Bord der MSC Grandiosa. Daraufhin wird ein Mechanismus, ein hochkomplexer Mechanismus in Gang gesetzt, der Champagner kracht gegen die Bordwand und, ja, wie nennt man das, als alter Seebär, das wissen wir natürlich. Ein Smash. Genau, Bottle Smash. Smash. Und dann kommt Stufe 3, ein phantasmorganes Feuerwerk, was das ist, muss ich glaube nicht erklären, oder? Nee. Nein, ich glaube, da freuen wir uns alle drauf und ich mache euch jetzt noch ein bisschen neidisch, liebe Michelle, wir hier. Im MSC Village, wir haben einfach den besten Platz für das Feuerwerk. Wir werden das, das Feuerwerk stimmt. sehen, wir werden den beleuchteten Hafen sehen und wir werden euch im vollen Glanze sehen, die MSC Granios. Genau, und deswegen lehnen wir uns jetzt zurück, genießen diese fantastische Zeremonie und träumen von einer Kreuzfahrt auf der MSC. Ja, ihr müsst unbedingt mal auf eine Kreuzfahrt gehen. Mit eurem Matt. <lacht> mit eurem Matt. Also, back to Master of Ceremony, Gary. Yes. Thank you. Danke schön, Jochen. Also, du bist schon da, Jochen. Nein. Ich bin schon da. I'm waiting for you, Michelle. I have your bottle. I have your heart. And, believe it or not, I even opened the oyster with my teeth. Oh, no. Uh, please hurry up. That's I'm waiting it. for you. Here in the <laughs> Thank you, I can't wait to come over you. Thank you very much, Jochen. Uh, in a few minutes I'm there, and of course, uh, we're almost there, and I have to say, now is the time where you can enjoy a few minutes of our entertainment team. So let's say, like Fabio always say, it's MSC Showtime! <laughs>
was my first love, and it will be my last. She comes in future, in music of the past. We become my
on, go on, go on. They represent, the officers and the crew of all our fleet around the world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of the police is really near. Everybody is very excited. Michelle is almost ready. We'll call them in uh, one moment. Uh, I want to just to inform you before that you can remain here if you like. You can sit comfortable here and uh, to watch on the screen uh, everything that uh, we'll have uh, in uh, the gallery. Okay? Up to you, of course. Uh, enjoy this moment because it's really a big emotion. First, Tony Miguel, I would like uh, to say thank you to our officers. Yes, please, one more big applause for them. The officers of the And now, let's see all together if uh, Michelle is ready because uh, Michelle should be already uh, in the gallery with uh, our godmother, with the captain, with Mr. Aponte, with Mr. Babo. Michelle, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello, I'm saying hello to this amazing audience yeah, here, are. La Galleria, Galleria Grandiosa. Hello, everybody. We're almost there. Yes. Michelle, thank you so much. We're we watch there. you. Over to you. Over to you. Over to me. Thank you, Fabio. So we're almost there. This is the most important moment of the evening, and then a big party. So. This is an official moment, a very important moment. Every family has a godmother. But first, before we let we introduce her to you, I wanted to say thank you to the man who started all of this. MSC Cruises founder and executive chairman, Mr. Gianluigi Aponte. Good evening, Mr. Gianluigi Aponte. Thank you, thank you so much. This is really emotional. Thank you for having us all here and for giving us these emotions. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. And everybody will enjoy this evening. Yes, we do enjoy this evening. And I would like to ask uh, to come on stage as well our executive chairman, Pier Francesco Vago. family has his godmother and if I think about the godmother I couldn't think about a more special one than her. With honor and privilege on stage I would like to invite her, a living legend of cinema, an ambassador of the Italian beauty, mm -hmm. accompanied uh, with our captain Marco Mansa, ladies and gentlemen, Madame Sofia Loren. A big applause! We have the flowers for Madame Sofia Loren, and it's an honor to have you here, Sofia. We're very, very happy. So, uh, can, uh, can I give you the microphone, Captain, so you can? Here we are for the launching of MSC Grandiosa, eh? which is also the 15th MSC cruise ship that I am the godmother. The 15th, but the emotion is always the same. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Sailing the seas is maybe the oldest way to travel and it has never lost its charm. It's like becoming a kid again to the discovery of the world. And now let's welcome with big emotion the other jewel of MSC, wishing the prosperity of every nation. May they live moments of serenity 
and veritable joy aboard this wonderful ship. Evviva MSC Grandiosa! So I think we're really almost there. Captain, you know what you have to do. This is a very great responsibility. <laughs> oh, everything is okay? Yes. Okay, so I will do a countdown before Sophia will cut the ribbon, okay? In the name of God, Godmother, please cut the ribbon. Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah.